So whilst Christmas is more of a Western civilization celebration, Japan does do Christmas lights properly, but they also have the tradition of eating teriyaki fried chicken right here in Christmas time. Welcome to another episode of Robert's Leadership. My name is Marvin, and this time we're gonna be showing you what you can possibly see during Christmas time, which is famous for its Christmas lights. Right here, right now, is a place called Akihabara, which is right next to what we call the UDX building. And the UDX building, at one end of the UDX building to the other, is Christmas lights that span, that span the entirety of the diameter of this building. It's only right next to JR Akihabara Station, and it's an easy walk for me to get here. Nothing screams at the traditional uh, Christmas festive season, such as the colors of both red, green, and possibly blue, depending where you're coming from. We're now located in a place called Tokyo Dome in the surrounds of Suidobashi. Now, if you're a lucky holder of the JR Rail Pass, the route that is included JR Rail Pass is Suidobashi Station. It's only like a five minute walk. During the daytime, this area has a theme park in which the Tokyo young people can come here and enjoy themselves. But what's most important during the Christmas season is, of course, a 7.5 meter, I think it's point by mirror Christmas tree that's right there in the background so as well as the Tokyo Dome and the surrounds that are lit up in these particular colors a definite place to go to when you're here during Christmas One. Yep. check <laughs> Mark two. <laughs> Check. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mark three. Check. <laughs> so this is the little cave on the top of Ishibuya. I think people have been waiting for a long time because it's been three years from the last time. And it's amazing that they're using 600,000 yeah. light bulbs. This and we still even have a mirror road that reflects the light. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we just arrived at the Roppongi Station. Uh, well, what's quite famous in Roppongi Station is the Christmas lights at Keiyakuzaka, which is, if you can take advantage of it, right there is the Tokyo Tower. <laughs> we can get some great views of the place. Um, absolutely amazing. I, I'm, I'm kind of like trying to describe this as much as I can because it, literally you've only got like five seconds before the traffic light comes and that's it, let's go! <laughs> At night, you go up to the Asakusa Tourism Center and get a view downwards of the infamous Nakamisa Street where you can get to see the infamous artworks on the shutters where normally in the daytime, these stores will be selling their Japanese touristy trinkets and eventually you'll be landing at the base of Sensoji Temple with this gleaming amber warm light that is demanding for you to take its photos with this magnificent backdrop. Since coming back from the world famous Shimana Mikaido cycling route, which I would highly implore for all of you to Google shortly, I would recommend either walking to Tokyo Skytree through the newly opened up Mizumachi area or downloading the HelloCycle app on your phone, which will allow you to rent these electric cycles around multiple places in Tokyo and Yokohama and then cycle your way to see the lights in and around Oshiage and the base of Skytree. With that being said though, this ends this part of the guide and now that Japan is fully opened, we at the TGC are happy to see the world come back to near normalcy. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to this channel and also leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. In the meanwhile, please take care of yourself and your loved ones and always remember, you matter. See you next time.